Good evening. We'll just wait a few seconds for people to join. So good evening and welcome to the Office of Compline, which today we are saying from um, Ripon College, Cudston. And the ancient Office of Compline derives its name from a Latin word meaning completion. It is a service of quietness and reflection before rest at the end of the day. When we say Compline here at college, after we finish, we depart in silence and enter the greater silence, which lasts until the Eucharist the following morning when times are normal and obviously not during social distancing and isolation. So when we end today, we will just end and depart in silence as well. The order of service for today is available on our website. Hopefully you have it. It's also on the Facebook page. Um, but if you don't, it doesn't matter because everything will be said and heard um, by the stream. Please, if you do have it, please join into the parts that are in bold type. We will say most of the service, but we will sing the responsory, the office hymn and the Nunc Dimittis. And when it comes to the psalm, we will use Psalm 91, which is on page four, and not say the other psalms. And I'll remind us of this when we get to that part. So we'll just take a few seconds to still ourselves before we start. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Beloved, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, before the whole company of heaven, that we have sinned exceedingly in thought, word and deed, through our fault, our own fault, our own most grievous fault. Therefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. May the Almighty and most merciful God grant to us pardon, absolution and remission of all our sins, time for true repentance, amendment of life, and the grace and comfort of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Turn us, O God, our Saviour, and let thine anger cease from us. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer. Psalm 91 on page 4. Whoso dwelleth under the defence of the Most High, and abideth under the shadow of the Almighty, I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my hope and my stronghold. My God, in him will I trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings and thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness and truth shall be thy shield and buckler. 
Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and see the reward of the ungodly. For thou, Lord, art my hope. Thou hast set thine house of defence very high. There shall no evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands, that thou hurt not thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt go upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou tread under thy feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honour. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy upon me, O God, and hearken unto my prayer. Thou, Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord, our God. We now have a brief reflection. Here at Cudston, we say or sing the Office of Compline every night at 9.30 p.m. in our beautiful college chapel, which is modelled upon a boat. As the chapel is only dimly lit by lights that look like candles suspended from the ceiling, we are very much aware of the darkness that enfolds us. In saying Compline each night, we join with Christians throughout the world, but also throughout time, particularly those who have used this office to pray for protection against danger in ages where nighttime was extremely perilous. We say this office tonight in our own time of trouble, and as we enter this great and holy week, the ancient words of Compline have never seemed so relevant. One of our prayers that we will have later starts with the words, Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And as we say these words, let us carefully ponder them, praying them on behalf of ourselves and our homes but also on behalf of those experiencing the darkness of sickness, the darkness of oppression, the darkness of abuse. Both those people known to us and those we do not know, especially those who have no one to pray for them. And we also think of the comforting words of that wonderful Psalm, Psalm 91. He shall defend thee under his wings, and thou shalt be safe under his feathers, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. As our journey through Holy Week continues, we remember and participate in Jesus' walk to the cross, his own time of trial and darkness, but we also know the ending. We know that this week will end in glorious resurrection, in light and in life. And we know that it will end with the cosmic defeat of death and evil. And we hold on to that hope for this world today. 
But whilst we are waiting for our own time of trial to end, and whilst we hold the sorrow of the world in our hearts and abide with it for a season, we cling to the assurance that we are ultimately safe under his feathers. We cling to the assurance that nothing can separate us from his love, a love that transcends sickness and even death, a love that lasts forever. We continue on page eight with the responsory. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I command my spirit. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that with thy wanted favour thou wouldst be our God and keeper now. From all ill dreams, defend our rhymes, from nightly fears and fantasy. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost and thee doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep me, O Lord, as the apple of an eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping. That awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Blessed art thou, Lord God of our fathers, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. Let us bless the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Let us praise him and magnify him for ever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all for ever. The Almighty and most merciful Lord, guard us and give us his blessing. Amen. Thou art safe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. Let us pray. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this dwelling and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful Lord, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. <laughs>